Joe's. Two. 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 Hello again. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our children. This is Charlie. Come here, Joe's. And this is Josephine. Josie is almost three. And we're gonna can I take your blanket for just a second? I'll, I'll give it right back, okay? This is her favorite blanket. Where I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the children's fashions of the time. This is a little girl's dress. Uh, she has pleats in the bottom of her dress um, to make it shorter. And as she grows, I can take those pleats out and the dress will get a little bit longer. So she wears a very tiny little pattern in her dress because it's easier to mend holes if there's a hole. She wears what are called pantalettes and they wore, little girls wore really long pantalettes and shorter dresses and she's got stockings. And Josie has gotten rid of her shoes because she doesn't like her shoes anymore. Very similarly, Charlie has what's called pantalettes as well. He has stockings and little shoes. He is also wearing a dress. I know you boys are thinking, oh no, they dressed for him in a dress. But little boys wore dresses the same as little girls until they were potty trained. And when they were potty trained, little boys would wear pants that were buttoned to their shirts because they didn't have elastic then. So without elastic, it's really hard to keep little pants up on babies. So it was easier to change them when they had dresses. So actually all the way up into about the 1950s, Little boys and little girls all over the United States wore uh, dresses. So sometimes um, some of like my grandparents wore dresses, both my grandma and my grandpa. Josie, stay out of there. Stay out of there. Come here. So the reason that their pantalettes are longer and their dresses are shorter is because that is part of um, what makes them look children. Adults, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my dress. Um, I have pantalettes as well, but they're quite a bit shorter. These are my pantalettes. They look like pants. But this dress is a work dress. It's because I'm working around the fire. I'm doing laundry, and I've been doing uh, cooking. So um, I'm in. Uh, I, I'm wearing a corset, um, but I, and I'm wearing a couple under petticoats. But I don't have a big hoop skirt on because I'm going to be working around the fire. So this is my apron. And I'm a proper lady because I keep my uh, head covered. This is called a day cap. But uh, I can keep my sleeves rolled up because I'm ready for work. So, a little bit about us right now.